Hey, Miss Violet. Violet, you want to come with me? Huh? Do you want to come with me? You want to come with me? Come on, girls. Let's go. I think I see blood root. Yep. That's the blood root. I think that is exciting. Oh, a little blood root. Perfect. We're gonna let that grow. I think this is the first time that I found blood root on the property. Maybe the first time I've actually looked. I do know what I do wanna try to find. We need cleavers. Yeah. We need cleavers. If I can find a fresh patch of cleavers, I'll go ahead and harvest a good bit. It's a very good herb that has medicinal properties that is used to help clean out your, your system, help flush out the lymphatic system. It's kind of like breaking out of the winter blues and, and going into the fresh season of spring. This is all wild bergamot. And we have, or bee balm is what a lot of people call it. But we have a whole bunch of it that's pretty much growing down this entire side. We had this entire creek side cleared and mulched and put back into the earth. But what we're finding, what it's doing is allowing some of those plants to grow greater and we have a bunch of this growing and the bees are gonna love it so very very excited it's definitely still quite small but i'm excited to see this this continue to grow and if i remember bergamot is earl grey tea it's used. i believe that that is i believe that that's right One of the other things that I'm keeping my eye out for is the Indian pipe or um, also the ghost pipe. And I missed my opportunity to harvest it last year and I'm gonna harvest just a little and we're gonna set it up in a tincture um, in some, some Everclear. But I think, I think we need a couple more warmer days before we start seeing all the, all the stuff come alive. But I looked at the forecast and it looks like we're gonna start creeping into like the 70 degree weather days. So hopefully that means that, hopefully that means that it's gonna be, it's gonna be soon. Many years ago, I went ahead and planted some spores for morel mushrooms. And I think, honestly, what had happened is I planted them in a location that probably they shouldn't have been planted there. And I think they washed down um, because the way our property kind of runs it's like there's natural runoffs from that hillside anyways i found a good bit of morel mushrooms right here in this patch which if i'm standing which is almost exactly a straight line from where i planted the mushroom spores so now i'm coming down here just to kind of double check to see if i see any any morels I think, I think I need to wait a little bit longer. I think we need a couple more warmer days because I just don't think we're there yet, but I'm gonna look really carefully. It's gonna look for you guys and for me because I wait all year for this day. This is like my Easter egg hunt and I, I should probably, I'm gonna post that video. I, that was just pure excitement that day finding these mushrooms so yeah that'll go up in the corner if you guys want to if you guys want to see that so this is a nice 
nice little thing of cleavers right here. I want to show you a little trick about cleavers. I'm going to go ahead and harvest. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. Yes, I do need, I need to make some tea. Here's a little trick I've learned about cleavers. Okay, okay you ready? <laughs> Cleaver sticks. <laughs> It literally will stick and cling to you. So, and I mean like, look, it really sticks. It is definitely, it's definitely one of your, your plant allies that you want in your body. So I'm gonna harvest a little bit. This patch, this side over here seems to actually have a good bit of it that is of substantial amount um, for me to be able to to do a quick little harvest so we can harvest some cleavers and maybe some dead nettle some purple dead nettle that'll be good especially for allergies i'm very excited yeah that should be good i have a handful too i showed them the the cleavers trick oh It sticks. Let me see. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a good trick. And I explained Here. to him what cleavers <laughs> is for and how it's used for cleansing your lymphatic system, helping flush out just any of those toxins. So I think it would be, be good for a tea. And hey, look, I don't need technically a bag for cleavers. <laughs> It's a bonus. Like, I really don't. It's I don't, a cleaver's bonus. It is a cleaver's bonus. Hey, All of this right here is going to be yarrow. We've got a lot of yarrow that grows all down this line. And hopefully, we'll be doing some harvesting and making some tinctures with it as well. Since we didn't find any mushrooms, we, we did, did find other stuff. We did find other good stuff. We didn't find any nettles yet, buddy. No, no. Nope. We planted some stinging nettles, and then I actually just started a bunch of seed. So that'll be, we'll add that. But what we did find is the cleavers, the purple dead nettle, and the some dandelion. And we wanted to do a nice spring detox since we're getting out of winter. Cleavers is definitely gonna make a good bit. This is, this is gonna be enough. I think we'll make a big batch of it and then whatever we have extra we will keep in a jar. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. A lot coming up here in the next couple of, of weeks and months here on the homestead and I'm kind of glad that we took the day to just kind of go and forage and see what was out there. Spotted a lot of different wildflowers yeah. that we didn't know that we had. Yeah and what's nice is when you go out and you make the time to go out and do a forage especially when it comes to harvesting um, or wildcrafting certain plants it allows you an opportunity to see all the stages of, of each plant um, because you get so accustomed to this plant is ready to harvest as soon as it looks like that but when you walk with each season and you see a little bit of the growth, it, it kind of triggers your eye and triggers the location for where you know when it's time 
to go when it's time to harvest. But yes, we've got a lot going on and I will, I know I've talked about this in one of my last videos and then in my live, um, but we have two big workshops that are coming up. One is gonna be this month, it's April 23rd, and it is our tea blending workshop. And we are going to allow people to come in and learn how to blend their own tea, learn why to blend their own tea, and then also, if weather allows, we're gonna be outside and we're gonna be wild crafting and we're gonna be harvesting and we're gonna teach how to make a medicinal tea with the resources Right. that are available and the stinging nettles will definitely be out by then as well um, because I've got a lot that we're getting ready to plant so very excited about that and then the other workshop is the big beekeeping workshop that is a two-day event here in the apiary and that is a a full-on opportunity to learn about beekeeping there's a lecture that goes on lots of questions and answers and then an opportunity to get into the hives do a hive inspection learn what to look for and then also an opportunity to learn about what to do with the byproducts of of honeybees so mm -hmm. we're going to spin honey and then make some salve and then uh, talk about propolis and how to set up propolis so there's going to be a lot of fun things that are going to be coming up but that workshop's coming up in june i'll make sure to put all of the information down below with the website and then also if you're interested in learning more about having a one-on-one -on -one or a one on two herbal consultation that is also out there we have started opening up the opportunity for people who are seeking individual one-on-one uh, -on -one knowledge of, of how they can use herbs medicinally to help them and so that's something that we are starting to put out there so but i think this is pretty good it is yeah for especially for a, a failed mushroom foraging there's nothing failed there's nothing well it's not called mushroom finding it's called mushroom hunting for a reason so right. we didn't bring anything home but it's cool i think it was still fun to go for a walk thank you guys for coming along and being a part of this beautiful day outside with us and as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old bye bye guys <laughs>